<laughs> but look, this shit was seven years ago. I know how I rock, bro. Mm. Even my bro, he told me, he, somebody asked him, is Greedo mad? Because I'm not really saying a lot in mm -hmm. public. What you told him, Jay? I told him, fuck, mad, he furious. I know what he stand for. You know, he wasn't doing nothing like that. If somebody, is everything. I if somebody, I like told that. this nigga because I know people probably like, nigga, fuck all that. I heard the recording. Look, bro, if somebody came to me and the names were switched and they had that paper, right? I might say some shit worse than that. This bitch and ass nigga supposed to be my dog, mm. you weird ass nigga. And now you go blow up this reaction. But how did you know that you should be recording at that time? Mm. You feel me? What kind of games be you playing? You know what I'm saying? Why well, was I being recorded? But at the end of the day, nigga, if somebody tried to present it to me, I told this nigga, I told this nigga even again recently, bro, it was a million times while I sat in prison before he got there, which was almost two years, not one, but the lady brought up. Hell yeah, I thought my boy told on me a million days. I'm, I thought a million different scenarios. I mm -hmm. replayed this day a hundred thousand fucking times while I sat in that motherfucking hot ass cell in Texas. Mm. You feel me? But did I try to put something out there or act like this nigga snitch? Hell no, nigga, I was in my feeling because I was locked up, and I don't know why this nigga ain't locked up. Right. This nigga swift. You feel me? I'm like, nigga, this nigga is thugging in the projects. I, it's eating my head up. I say, man, what, what the fuck? Yeah, because how did you only get six months in comparison to him? He didn't I caught get another months. case. I was fighting another that for that. Only reason I said as long as I did because I had two other cases that I had actually got arrested for at the time, and that just popped up with my fingerprints. So they couldn't come get me until I was done with them. Oh, okay. So by the time they got me, they weren't even worried about me. That's how I got the little deal I got. Because they had already got him, so <laughs> yeah, they weren't really tripping treated. about you? They weren't even looking for me no more. Really? I got caught on a whole nother case. What the And then fuck? my fingerprints just popped up. So when I was done with that case, then they came and got me. And I, like, shit. Okay, but I got to ask anything. this. The paperwork was basically like being shopped around, being sent to people by oh. some guys that you used to be cool with who clearly have an agenda where they want to put out a narrative about you, right? Yeah, see, now when it comes to that, I'm a real gangster and I'm a real player. So strategically, I know not to get too much on individuals that may have created this uproar. You did? What I can say is, if those individuals are saying that's why they're upset, then that's on y'all to understand. They're telling you what they're doing and why they're doing it. You feel me? But as far as me, I represent this Great Street shit, and I know it's niggas that might have been in the hood longer than me or in the streets probably more than me. I don't know. But on a worldwide level, I got to fucking represent this shit. Mm. So that's why I pulled up with the, hom the homies out here. The homies are coming here to whoever feel like they got something to say about how they pushing the narrative online that my hood is mad at me. Nigga, I love this hood. This hood love me. This shit is on my face. This shit is my fucking name. Right. What is wrong with you? If I was a snitch, you think I'm going to go so? I would be the boldest. I have whoever else beat. Nigga, you going to bang this shit hard like that and you know you a straight snitch? Oh, man, listen, bro. I don't know about the individuals that created the uproar. What I know is that shit ain't facts. That shit ain't facts. And I'm still with my dog. I ain't give him no money to come right here. This my dog, nigga. Our kids look at us like uncles, you feel me? I talk to this nigga son every week, two, three times a week. What's up, bro? What we doing? Right. Even when this shit happened, what the fuck is they talking about, huh? You feel me? People... When, what world is we in where people get to plan with a nigga life, name, and family like that, nigga? The truth gonna come out. You hear me? We already, we already got, I didn't want to come here and play with somebody else's papers. Uh -huh. Because we don't know if this is something that's doctored. We don't know if this is a police report, which like we said, a police could say that. Ain't none of that shit that's that bullshit in quotes with me. You feel me? Y'all quote when a nigga told a nigga, be quiet, chill out, you feel me? And whatever words y'all put that in. Where the interview? Why I see all that other shit that be when they expose a snitch where it say a nigga say a, a, a statement and sign his name, just like my nigga P. Jr. said. Nigga, did it have a state a, a statement quoted in a signature? But nigga, that ain't no motherfucking paperwork. Nigga, I don't know nigga telling nigga that ain't no... Bro, I don't know, honestly, bro, what I was going to tell him about my shit. 
Right. One thing is, I never got pulled over with bricks, but in my mind growing up, and just like I would imagine other people, nigga, we get caught with bricks, we over with. That's <laughs> all we know what I'm telling you that for. Because when you're doing those drives, that's the only thing you got to think we about, right? Is what am I going to say if I get pulled over? Up, we know, hey, nigga, shit get real. We can die. We can go get a life sentence. Then police is fucked up on that case. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think for nobody else. I don't know if they was going to keep me in there longer. But I know once they start sending me them letters telling me I had action, I hired a lawyer and I start going to the um, attorney business and shit, all of a sudden now nigga can make parole. You feel me? Mm. But um, I don't want to never on this say something that I don't know for sure. So that's the only reason I asked the young lady to speak her part because at the end of the day it was seven years ago I know I didn't do no telling mm -hmm. so I'm not finna do no safe shit like that like, so I don't remember everything you said if y'all do see some shit no I'm not saying that but I never wanted to say oh that shit fake oh you niggas doing this oh what y'all you racist I see it right there because once it come out that that's not what happened it's like yeah all that evidence cool but why cuz lying and then at the end of the day one thing I gotta deal with I'm, I'm down for whatever nigga playing with me though I gotta deal with for the rest of my life if you say something like that about somebody, a snitch, uh, a, a traitor, or some sexual fucked up shit, whether they get proved innocent or guilty for the rest of their life, mm -hmm. for the rest of their legacy, That's certain wild. individuals going to be like, man, that nigga's a snitch. Mm -hmm. So it's putting people that'll play with me in danger or me in danger, and I'm on parole till 2038. Is this how we plan? Yeah, no. What What do you think the motivation might be, though, for certain people that used to be in your life to want to smear you like that? Who came on? Uh, this one probably. Yeah. Can you ask me that question again? Why Why do you think people want to get at you right now? Because you got a twenty pound chain. <laughs> Damn, you got the cough syrup chain too. I could have. Could use one of those. Uh huh. Why are they mad? Let me ask you something. You not a street dude, you my partner though, so I'm not I'm never gonna belittle you saying you're not a street dude. What I'm saying that I'm not saying that. I'm, not I'm well aware. Yeah. You, yo, you my real partner though. <laughs> Appreciate it. So um you not even being from the streets. If you heard some dudes knew a dude that was around them or the people they around. Heard he was a snitch. You would think, man, them motherfuckers finna kill that nigga, right? I've, I've heard of it, yeah. Well, this is the internet. With the internet, if I respond wrong, if I even send a, 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 the wrong shit towards the young man that just doing his job, I ain't mad at no 1090J. Mm -hmm. If anything happens to them, now it's going to look like, oh, Greedo didn't like that shit they did. Mm. So it's like this is a safety, safe beef or whatever. I don't know. This is this not some, I don't understand. So anyways, it's on the internet. I don't even know how, how I react to such an insult because this is the internet version. Mm. And not only are you from the streets, but you also just did five years behind bars. So it's like these are two places that are very different from the Internet. If someone says something bad about you in your hood Damn. or in prison, and it's it like, gets handled in fuck? a different way, right? All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. You know what that means? That means you got to subscribe and get us to 600K because we are dangerously close to 666K. Let's go.